let us see this today's problems which are the following compounds are optically active or inactive compounds so this compound is optically inactive why inactive because if you draw here mirror image this side like this one so on drawing mirror image the this uh, part is a symmetrical to this part so this is a optically inactive compound this is optically inactive here we can see if you draw here image this side if you draw here image this side so on drawing image what will happen uh, this part of the image is not coinciding with the, this part of the image so this is not an optically inactive so this is a optically active now here in this case if you see this part is also optically active why because if you draw anywhere part like this form this will be optically inactive this is not optically inactive but this will be optically inactive in these cases this will be your optically inactive why optically inactive because this is a three uh, double bond odd number double bond so in odd number double bond the compounds will so optically inactive in even number of double bond it will become optically active so this will be or again optically inactive because these two are opposite so opposite should not be there if you draw this thing anywhere it will be optically active but in this position it is optically inactive this is opposite to each other this is also optically inactive because if you draw here a line graph like this one so this becomes a symmetrical uh, figure 8, 8 will be also optically inactive and this is also called as achiral achirals are optically inactive this achiral compound 9 this will be also achiral same reason a symmetrical structure if you draw here structure this will be similar to each other in this also a carrier because these are opposite to each other if you draw a line straight so this will be symmetrical it is also optically inactive or a chiral a chiral this will be also chiral why chiral because you can see this group consists of uh, br hydrogen oxygen and this, this is over here hydrogen also not, not hydrogen oxygen br is present there and this so here we not here, here you can say here we have hydrogen this side so 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 groups are present so this is the chiral compound so this is the chiral carbon this is a chiral this is very clear because you can see from here these groups are symmetrical from this carbon this carbon is symmetrical this is a pseudo chiral compound this is a pseudo chiral this is called a pseudo chiral 13 this is again same regions this is also a if you take care so br and cl both are uh, almost similar to each other this is one of the exceptional case so br and cl are almost similar to each other so this is also a chiral in every case br or cl will be same if you are taking opposite this is also 16 16 is the a chiral okay because this side both groups are same 17 17 is also chiral compound why because this is your double bond here is single bond so this is your chiral carbon this is star marker so this is also an optically active chiral 18 this is also a chiral same reason so you can see if you divide here so both are equal to symmetric each other 19 so 19 is the a chiral because just we said cl and are almost similar to each other this is also a a chiral so keep in mind this is almost similar to each other 20 this is optically inactive optically inactive why because uh, almost double bond all are compound to similar to each other you can see if you draw diagram this will be similar to each other so this is uh, optically inactive this is optically active why because for double bond these two groups are different so this is showing this will be your hydrogen this side with CST this side and again this will be different so this is optically active this one this is also a chiral compound so this is your chiral carbon you can see here 24 25 all these are a chiral this is also a chiral both are a chiral to each other this is also optically optically active compound 
same region CS3 hydrogen these two groups are different over here so this is also optically active compound 27 this is also optically inactive why because if you see here if you draw a diagram like this one so this will be similar to each other so here it is a mirror image of this part is the mirror image of this one so any part is a mirror image this is a optically inactive this is optically active is very clear why optically active so we can see here so this is just like a from here we can see this part is different this part is different so this is optically inactive so if you draw diagram also this is not a symmetrical to each other this is 29 is the optically active compound this is very clear you can see here we are all groups are totally different so pure optically active compound 30 this is chiral you can see here so chiral means you can see here from this this is the chiral carbon not this one this is not this is only chiral carbon so this, due to this chiral carbon this is optically inactive because here we have different groups CS3, CLH 31 this is also a chiral why because this is a double bond or any uh, cyclic structure so if the two groups from this and this will be different this is a chiral compound if same then they will, they will not chiral so this is a chiral or optically active compound 32 so this is also a chiral this is also a chiral it's very clear from this group both are different 33 this is optically inactive compound because here this group is similar to each other so it should not be similar this is a optically active compound 34 this 34 is optically active so why it is optically active from this group these two are different and these two are again different 35 this is also optically active so if you see at this point this point so both are different to each other so they will undergo different plane so this will be different to each other this is also optically active so this is optically inactive why because here you have to draw this will under show your center of symmetry so this is your center of symmetry is there center of symmetry so here we have center of symmetry so this is also optically inactive or you can say this is a chiral this is a optically inactive means a chiral 37 is your chiral this is very clear this is chiral y chiral we can see if you draw symmetry symmetry not possible if you draw like this also it is not possible this is a chiral or optically active compound here so this is if you uh, take here symmetry so like this one if you draw a structure so here you will get central symmetry so this is also a a chiral compound so this is the they are the examples if you see two three times you can understand or you can identify which type of compound is optically active and which type of compound is optically inactive or these are a chiral compounds.